They are putting the finishing touches on floats for tomorrow's Tournament of Rose Parade. That's right. A lot of those beautiful flowers that decorate the floats cannot go on till the very last minute. KCAL News reporter Takara Finstrom is live at the center of all the action in Irwindale where those floats are being assembled. Kara, you're always bringing us these beautiful flowers. Take a look at this. Talk about finishing touches on these floats. This is ginger and that makes up the feathers on that flamingo. Gorgeous float. This is a UPS float and as you can see they're working in the belly there of the crocodile uh, doing all the final mechanical work because he's going to stand straight up. An amazing float and joining us here now with UPS is Casey Sorrell. Um, what is the idea? I mean, it's whimsical, it's fun to look at, but there's some meaning behind this crocodile as well. Yeah, absolutely. Our float this year is called the Beat of Achievement because we support uh, Junior Achievement, which is a national program to uh, teach youth about uh, different skills that they're going to need to be entrepreneurs one day. So financial, uh, financial readiness, career readiness, how to hold a job, how to be an entrepreneur. I love it. And Quan is giving our folks at home a look at this amazing crocodile, which will be standing up straight here very shortly. Uh, I want to bring in as well Stefan Pollock with Fiesta Floats. Uh, this is a big day. I mean, this is something folks here have been looking forward to really for about a year now. This is what we do all year for this day. The judges will be here at 939 today. Exactly. They're very precise in the Tournament of Roses. And they're going to come here and judge all our floats. They also go to the other float barns and judge the rest of the floats in the parade as well. We have five of the 30, more than 30 floats in the parade here. Just some showstoppers. The UPS store is really going to bring it. That crocodile, we're excited to see it stand up. It hasn't been out of the building since the last test run. So we're looking forward to see it stand up and shine, shine in the sun. So you have had folks here from the wee hours. Uh, right now they're putting on the flowers. So this has been our all-nighter. Every decorator's week, there's going to be at least one all-nighter. This was our all-nighter for sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave folks at home with a look at some of these floats. Again, they will uh, be judged this morning, and then they will roll out of here for the big parade, which gets underway in Pasadena at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning.